Hello all. Now we are going to perform one more interesting practical that is calibration of single phase energy meter. As we all know that in today's day to day life we have our single phase energy meter which is there and this is what the main source to calculate the consumption of electrical energy. So as far as the objective is concerned, the objective of this practical is to calibrate single phase energy meter for minimum error. So, Whenever I am talking about calibration, that simply means we need to calibrate our this single phase energy meter with zero error. So that's we need to go into verify that is there any error available whenever we are doing theoretical calculation with respect to the practical observation. So for this, if we we'll go for the apparatus, we have single phase energy meter, which is simply your AC static watt hour meter, and which is having the rating of 3,200 impulse per kilowatt hour. That, that means for 1000 watt in one hour it shows 3200 blinks which is considered as an impulse. Next we have our voltmeter. So for voltmeter we are using digital multimeter for your kind information. Then we have ammeter which is of rating 0 to 5 ampere. Next we have our wattmeter. Now this wattmeter is of having range of you can see 0 to 375 watt and the multiplying factor which we are going to use with respect to the rating of uh, current that is emitter and voltmeter so multiplying factor will be 4. So this is what the apparatus. Now let's talk about the circuit diagram. So as far as circuit diagram is concerned if you see we are simply having single phase 230 volt AC supply which is simply connected to a switch a predictive switch then a fuse and here is our variac which is directly connected to the ammeter of 0 to 10 ampere or we are taking and here we are taking volt voltmeter so in place of voltmeter in practical we are going to use multimeter which is directly con connected to our wattmeter now as we all know that in wattmeter we have four points m l c and v where m and c will going to be short and after that we have our energy meter with respect to that we have a resistive load of 5 kilowatt. Hope this is clear to all. Let's have this thing in practical. So you see here we have simply we are simply having a supply AC supply to our uh, board. Now this is simply given to our single phase variac. From there we have simply if you see we have connected this to ammeter one of the point which is connected in series. Okay, the second point is connected to the M of wattmeter and M and C if you see here M and C is simply short M and C is short and now if you see our the point L L of this wattmeter is directly connected to the M1 point because if you see we have two we have four points M1 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 L1 and M2 L2 where M1 L1 is your input side and M2 L2 is for load you can see and for this we have connected directly output now here we are considering the resistive load as output and we are considering the maximum wattage is of 5 kilowatt but we are going to use of 1 kilowatt load with respect to the resistive one. So this is what the overall circuit. Let's talk about the uh, basically practical how we are going to connect. So as I have started this first of all I will going to give the supply as it is single phase supply as 230 volt. So we are going to have 220 volt. You can have this. I am simply getting so we are simply increasing the voltage so we're going to fix this voltage as up to 220 volt so you can see now it is 200 we'll, we'll fix at 220 volt okay now at 220 volt now you can see as i am giving voltage and here basically no load is connected so there is no blinking and the ammeter and wattmeter is at zero position. Now with respect to that, now I am going to increase the load because we need to show the consumptions. So see, now you can see here, as I am increasing the load, the ammeter and wattmeter is increasing. See, you can see here the reading, see, so 400, 600, 800 and 1000. So, each bulb of having each resistive load as a bulb having rating of 200 watt we have connected 5 bulbs so total there is 1000 watt now as we need to calculate the error 
if you see. So in that particular error, if you see, now we have the uh, reference rating is of 3200 impulse per kilowatt. Now I have the load of 1000 watt. So what it means, it means that for 1000 watt, if I'm going to use for one hour, it should take 3200 blinking. So if suppose I need to calculate for one minute, so for one minute, how much it will be? It will have roughly 53.33 impulse for one kilowatt hour load, or sorry, one kilowatt load where I'm consisting my 200 bulb. Now, so this is what theoretical uh, point. Now, suppose I need to, as for the error, we need to, we need to calibrate. So for calibration, what we are doing, we are simply checking, verifying that this theoretical value 53 is matching to our practical load or not. So for that, what we are, what I'm going to do, I'll simply start my uh, stopwatch where we'll see. So see here, I'm going to have my stopwatch and we're going to calculate or count number of impulse for that. So yes, now you can see I've started my timing. This is now you can count one, two, three, four, five. So for one minute, we're going to calculate how much blinking will be there. So up to up to this, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So you can see here, we'll simply have to see the blinking with respect to our timing for one second, for one minute, sorry. So it's 48 second, total is, okay, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So this blinking we need to calculate. So if we are going for this, so see here, as far as the observation table is concerned, we have simply note down the voltmeter reading as 230 volt for, uh, for a simple, uh, for one thing, for one uh, load, having ammeter reading this much, Watt meter reading we have basically calculated number of revolution in 3 minute but we are taking as for 3 minute we are simply considering for 1 minute total energy true energy which is there calculated measured energy and error. So true energy means what actual energy which is going to be calculated theoretically. So for 1000 load we have calculated and we have measured same for our watt meter and we are simply calculating what is the error what is the error between these two. So these are simply uh, the uh, basically uh, calculation if you see. So overall if, if we are going to consider, if we are going to conclude about this uh, basically experiment, so we can considerably see that there is always some error in between the theoretical impulse which we are calculating by formulas and with respect to the load which when, whenever we are connecting and that error we need to verify with respect to the practical. Thank you.